Happy Australia Day! Good morning and welcome to today's Devotion Tuesday the 26th of January, Australia Day, a day we celebrate being Australian. Thanks for joining us wherever you are around the world today. Most of those who are listening today will be in and around Sydney. During this recent time of COVID, we've been restricted in our movement, certainly around the world, but also even from going from one state to another. It reminded me that we have so much to see in and around Sydney. There's some great walks, some of which I've had the benefit of going on, enjoyed that very much. God blesses us with the magnificent country here in Australia to live in. I very much enjoy going for walks, especially walking with other people, like most things, just about everything. It's more fun if you do it with somebody else. I often walk with a couple of mates, sometimes with my wife, sometimes just with our dog, a border collie. He loves walking, not much of a talker, but I tell you, he is a great listener. As a bloke, I'm not much of a multitasker, but I can do this. I can walk and talk at the same time. My friends and I did the majority of the Great North Walk. That's the walk that runs from Sydney to Newcastle, about 260 kilometres. We did that uh, last year. Great walk, so many interesting sights to see. But walking that sort of distance over many days gave the opportunity for a lot of walking and talking. As we walk together, as we walk with someone else, we're in communion with one another. In the Bible, we read that Noah and Enoch both walked with God. They didn't just sit or kneel or stand with God, the kind of actions that we might ordinarily associate with spending time with God, but they're also in communion with God when doing something else. That is, while they were doing other things, they were in communion with God. And we can do that as well. While we're eating or driving or working or exercising or relaxing, you can be in communion with God at the same time through prayer. Walking and praying with God is a great way to go. I also enjoy walking alone. I will often listen to the Bible as I go and then spend some time talking to God, praying, talking and walking with God. Walking is a great exercise. So I want to encourage you as we begin this new year to go walking, physically go walking. Take the opportunity to walk to the shops or walk to the bus stop rather than getting public transport or driving. Let me also encourage you, though, this year to walk and talk with God. Spend some time with Him, walking and talking. The Bible has a lot to say about walking with God. It is how the Bible describes uh, living the Christian life. This word walk and, and live are used as a synonym. To walk with God is a way of describing being communion with God, being uh, living in a way obedient to his word. Over the next few days, we're going to be exploring this theme of walking with God. It is how you were intended to live. God's desire for us is that we walk humbly in relationship with him. That's in Micah. This is what Jesus made possible for us, for us to live or walk as Jesus intended. The Apostle John writes this, This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. We will stumble from time to time, but the Bible promises that if we trust in Christ, we will one day walk with him, dressed in white. Today we read from Psalm chapter 3, Walk with your head held high. Let me read for us now these verses from Psalm 3. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? 
Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. This psalm written by King David. King David walked with God, but that does not mean that everything went perfectly for him, nor does it mean that he was, in fact, a perfect individual. David had some real challenges. This psalm that we, I've just read, Psalm 3, was written during a rebellion by David's very own son, Absalom. This had been partly caused by David himself and his adultery. David repented of what he had done. God forgave him and restored his relationship with him. David didn't have an easy life. We feel the tone of this as he cries out, verses 1 and 2, Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. In his anguish, David cries out to God, But you, God, shield me on all sides. You ground my feet, you lift my head high. Like David, we need to come to God and bring our fears and our requests to him, recognising that God is the one who is in control. David himself writes, I call out to the Lord and he answers me. From his holy mountain. In spite of his distressing situation, God lifted up David's head. Friends, friends, God does not want you to be downcast. God doesn't want us to hold on to our regrets. He doesn't want us to keep looking behind or at all the problems around us or the sin within us. Rather, he exhorts us, lift up your heads and see the help above you. Walk with your head held high and fix your eyes on him, the God through whom we can be forgiven. God was able to say, I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. You see, in spite of all the troubles, David seems to have a deep peace, like a lake where although there may be rough waves on the surface, deep down there's a great stillness. May that be our experience this year as we walk and talk with God with our heads held high, trusting in him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, this year, please help me to recognise that you are in control and help me to prioritise my time well, time to walk with you and time to talk with you. I know that from you comes blessing and deliverance. Father, help me to trust in that. Lord, in the year ahead, help me to walk with you daily in the way of peace with my head held high, trusting that you'll supply all I need for the day ahead. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.